Okay, guys, a little bit further down the rabbit hole on the TPIS red-headed stepchild. What's different? Well, I took a little bit more out of this turn according to our air speeds. The rest of the port has been cleaned. Okay? For some reason, my focus isn't working worth a damn. You can see the texture I used. I originally said I was going to use my high helix. Was not happy with the way our high helix was working out on this. I wound up using... One of my giant burrs, actually. Hold on. Three-quarter diameter. Massive aluminum single cut. If you spray a little WD-40 on it... That's what you can expect out of it. Now I can see the floor here is still the high helix texture. It is different, okay? Why do I change it up? Well, because I wanted to. As a matter of fact, this port doesn't look that great on camera. Looks like I still missed a bunch of spots. And it still has water in it from where I hosed out all the chips. But it has been flowed as it sits right now. So you can see I blended out the radius. If you take a look at the absolute outside of that circle, that has not been touched. And it won't be touched until I know what the, the runners are and exactly how they match. I do have the gaskets. They are very close. But... We're not going to fiddle with that until we have the runners and we know more. So basically, what, what I did is I cleaned this up. I took a little more area out of that last turn. And we sent it on the bench. How'd we do? Let's take a look. Okay, I actually did this twice. Okay, this is what you saw last time. You guys have seen that. This says reflow, meaning I reflowed it at only 79 degrees because the time before that with only the high helix texture was 85 plus degrees and it the 85 plus degrees did not help our cause let's put it that way so what do we got now we're a lot closer to what we should be and if we take a look at what I wrote all right second cut fully cleaned more out of the last turn. We go side to side, plus, 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 plus. It's a plus everywhere, which, remember, it's a slightly bigger port. Just by cleaning it up, you are taking some metal out of it, right? But you can also, I also worked on that last corner, which was very fast. Our exit is very fast. I could raise the roof quite a bit more, which I probably will do, but I'm not there yet. I want to see what up we're going to do when we get our runners first. As far as what our swirl did and what our swirl did here. Minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. It's hit or miss, but it's at 500 with 220, 2,245. And here we are, 2,345. It went up a touch, okay? Still good. A nice strong curve. No, no issues at all. Now, what are we going to do from this point? I got news for you. This is probably going to sit until I get the runners. I'm told they're a week out. I think we've heard that before already. The, the heads, I could, I could do some more work to the exhaust port. I'm not there yet, though. I want to, uh, I want to get the good valves first. I have a feeling I will be changing the throat ratio. Throat ratio is really tight at 83 and change percent for the exhaust. Uh, well, my little brain is working. Sorry, guys. In any case, what's going to happen next? i got to do some work to those jag heads, which, of course, I can't show you anything. DV wants me to to finish the jag heads, put them on the IOP program, and send them all the info. And he'll tell me whether they're good enough or not. I'm fine with that. Uh, 
got the next couple days off. I had to have a procedure. I'm kind of screwed up worse than usual. Not life-threatening, guys. Don't sweat it. I just had to cut a piece of me off. You know how it is. Getting old is not for the weak. Remember that. In any case, this is going to be a relatively short one because I don't have a lot to show you. Just for SNGs, I did throw these on while it was on the bench. And yes, they did our best number to date. Not that it's a huge amount higher than last time. It's not. Because this is, this is our limiting, you know. And we're running out of number one, which has some dents in it. Okay? And you can see it's got some crap on the inside. Can only do so much with these. Okay? They are definitely limited. But the SLPs I did a ton of work to don't really flow much better. So I'm hoping the uh, Arizona Speed Marines are a lot better. We will find out. Now, you know, somebody's going to say, can we get done what we got to get done with the numbers we have right here? It's not a bad idea. You know, it's not a bad thing to look at. Eight, seven, six, five, two, forty-one. 241. Now, we're going to lose some of that when we put the new runners on, the plenum, and the, and the throttle body. But we're not going to lose that much if the runners do what they're supposed to. They're supposed to flow 260. Okay? If they flow 260, this shouldn't change much. Even though you're adding extra length to it, it shouldn't change a whole lot. We will find out. Now, because they are, you know, 180 degrees, there's going to be a very limited amount I can do with them. But we'll, we'll get to that, uh, that bridge when we cross it. In any case... Let's say if we can only get 220 through this. Completed intake. What kind of power can we expect to get out of that? It is on a TPI. Uh, I know the owner did some a bunch of work on his uh, pipe max. He got on the phone with Larry, and Larry did some adjustments to the pipe max because it's having problems with the longer runners because of the... Uh, the Helmholtz Residence. I actually did a seminar yesterday, electrical seminar, and uh, one of the questions was reflective wave. Amazing how many electricians don't know this stuff. Sheesh. Terrible. Oh yes, I was the star of a class as usual. Or people in the back were saying, who's this guy? He needs to shut up. That's okay. I'm good with it. I'm going to ask the questions because if I'm going to be sitting in a class, I'm going to get the most I can out of it. Overall, it was relatively good. Variable Frequency Drive Seminar. If you don't know what they are, they're very cool. We also got into some harmonics, harmonic filters. We got into some power factor correction. Some cool stuff. Silent class. I was the only one asking questions. I did have one of the guys come and thank me at the end of the class for asking the questions. Isn't that interesting? You asked the questions we were afraid to ask. You paid for these to go to this class. You should ask questions and leave with what you uh, need to know. Well, we definitely have a cool line going across the screen right now. That's, that's new and improved. I don't know what that's from. Maybe it's from my overhead lights. And I definitely have a setting screwed up on my uh, my phone because it does not want to focus at all. And there's work. You know, I'm not even at work today. Isn't that amazing? I had to have surgery. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.